this is super cool because it's a tool that can that gives the human like some kind of input in what the algorithm in Google does. Google has a bunch of little secret things like this they don't know about until you know about them and then it's like, whoa, why didn't I do this to me years yeah. for the forever. The term seasonality adjustment is a little skewed because we it's not necessarily just for different seasons. So it's meant for spikes in anticipated spikes or steep decreases of conversion. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gab's Girls. We are here again with Cindy, back by popular demand. Hello, Cindy. Hi guys, how are you, Leandra? Good, good. Looking forward to another episode here. So why don't you tell us the topic that we're going to be covering today? Okay, perfect. Today we're going to talk about an advanced tool called seasonality adjustments. I think this is super cool because it's a tool that can that gives the human like some kind of input in what the algorithm in Google does. Sometimes we just use smart beating and we and we just click it, uh, stuff around and then it's like a black box and we never touch it again. Mm -hmm. With this feature, we can actually uh, put our insights towards the machine, machine learning and we can let them know, hey, uh, there's an upcoming event where I am going to see a significant change whether it's an increase in conversion rates or a decrease so I think this is a great tool for those uh, Google Ads experts out there. Great and the term seasonality adjustment is a little skewed because we it's not necessarily just for different seasons so it's meant for spikes in anticipated spikes or steep decreases of conversion so not necessarily clicks impressions but it's purely focused on on conversions um, so that could be for, for Black Friday or big sales or big promotions that are coming up. But also if you're running a challenge or you're running some kind of offer and you expect a change in conversions, then this could be used for that as well. Yeah, especially right now that we're in the season, like we can expect uh, some conversion rates to go up, especially if you have a Christmas sale, a New Year's Eve coming up, or even Valentine's. Uh, I think that that would be something that you can use. So let's go ahead and share some insights with you guys. So how to create seasonality adjustments. But before diving into all the steps and all the ins and outs, I just wanted to share some quick insights about the Black Friday that we just had um, this year. And it set a new record in uh, the last, I don't know, like six years. Everybody went to their computer and go, went ahead and bought something on Black Friday. Did you buy something, Leandra? I did. Yeah. Every year I think, oh, this year I'm going to, you know, I don't need anything. I don't want to go buy something just to buy things. And of course, every year I end up spending money. So I'm definitely one of these, one of these people, but it's interesting to see 2020 pandemic hits. Everyone starts shopping online, but it hasn't decreased from there. It's even, even going up, which is interesting. So online shopping is here to stay and people are preferring to stay home especially if you live in in a cold area like Leandra in Canada I don't think that you want to go out to the mall no, <laughs> in no, the cold no. so um in 2022 uh there was a record of 9.12 billion dollars according to USA Today so I think that having those um a special features are something that we sh should take advantage because it's going to le leave us with more sales. Mm -hmm. So in order to know what are seasonality adjustments and things that we need to keep in mind, I want us to go to the uh, Google Ads Bible, which is the help center in Google Ads. Uh, basically, as we can see, this is an advanced tool. And I do believe that it is because um, it has already a couple of years that this was launched by Google and not a lot of people know about it or implement it. I only use it a couple of times in my accounts in the past two years. So I think that uh, this is a great uh, tool for someone that is really uh, 
looking forward to those boosts in conversions during the year. If you know that Black Friday gives you amazing results last year or this year, then keep in mind that you can implement this whenever you feel like you're going to have a, a spike in, in conversions or a decrease. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of people will criticize the name of it because it says seasonality, but it's not really a season like... Uh, Leandra mentioned, it's ideal for short events. So I recommend one to seven days, but you can go up to two weeks if you have a, a longer uh, promotion. But if you want to really work, just keep the one to seven days uh, time frame. And right now they're available for search, shopping and display campaigns, but using a specific smart bidding such as target ROAS and target CPA. But it's also available for smart shopping and performance max campaigns now. Yes, great. Uh, you can also create this seasonal adjustment for multiple accounts. You just have to have a Google Ads Manager account. So now let's dive into how to do it. It's super easy. It just sounds complicated, but it's like the easiest stuff ever. You just go to Tools and Settings in Google Ads. And then you go to bid strategies. This is not a glitch. I'm interrupting the video you're watching because I need to remind you that I'm always looking for people to join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you want to work with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. Speaking of working with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, if you're having trouble with Google Ads and you want professional help, that's what we do. You can go to solate.com, that's S-O-L-8.com to apply for your free, no obligation action plan. And if I've given you any level of value at all, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. That's how we juice the YouTube algorithm algorithm so they actually know that I know what I'm talking about. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or confessions, hit me below in the comments. And now, back to your regularly scheduled program. Google has a bunch of little secret things like this they don't know about until you know about them. And then it's like, whoa, why didn't I do this year yeah. for the forever? So hopefully this is one of those things we can help everyone with. So you go to advanced controls. And there you go, you get to seasonality adjustments. So um, you just click the plus sign and uh, you can uh, let them know what adjustment type you want to do. If you want to do the budget or the conversion rate. So uh, let's say that you're saying, oh, uh, this upcoming New Year's, I'm going to have a sale and I expect uh, an increase in conversion rates, then you select the conversion rate option and then you put a name to it. So let's say New Year's sale. And you can enter a description, it's optional. And this is very important, is the start and the end time. Like we said, uh, it's for small events, so because we are saying that it's New Year's, we're going to put like the promotion will start from Friday, right before the end of the year till uh, January 2nd. And you can even put the start time. And this is important for people that uh, have different time zones and they have specific times where they're going to launch stuff. Uh, some of our accounts have that, uh, Leandra. So uh, I think this is a great feature. <clears throat> and then the scope, as you can see, has increased over the years. It used to be just for search display and shopping, but now even Performance Max uh, can have seasonality adjustments and we can let the, can let the machine learning know that this uh, upcoming event is coming. But if you want to even be more granular, you can uh, go ahead and select the specific campaigns. You can say, oh, the brand or the display is where I'm going to see. I don't think display is ever going to give you great conversion rates. So I just uh, uh, hope that you guys uh, select either your shopping, your performance max or your search. But if display works for you, why not select it? And then 
uh, the devices. This is important in case that you have a promotion that is only available for mobile. Uh, I don't know if you ever had those type of promotions before, Leandra. Yeah, usually it depends. Every client has different needs, but probably best to select them all unless you have a specific reason to remove one of those. Correct. And then here's the tricky part, <laughs> the conversion rate adjustment, because uh, you can either go to your Google Ads account and check previous years or Google Analytics just to see how the conversion rate increased. But at the beginning, I think it's mostly a guess because you have to start running seasonality adjustments to learn from them and then adjust them. So uh, at the beginning, you can say that you're going to increase uh, the conversion rate. You're, you're going to see an increase in conversion rates by 50%. So that could be something that you have to guess. But I'll recommend to always check your Google Analytics or your Google Ads performance from previous years. And then you click Save. And that's it. That's how you create seasonality adjustments. Awesome. That's going to be really helpful for a lot of different reasons. We have some clients that run challenges. So it's not always a promotion that you have to do this with. It's helpful for different peaks and conversions for various reasons. Thank you so much, Cindy. So everyone remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we are your Gads Girls. Until next time. Bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Gads Girls. You know me, I'm Leandra. You've met me before on here. But we have a special guest today, Cindy, who is... Hi. She's one of our specialists here at Solutions 8, and she's super awesome. She's been doing Google Ads for six years.